Once you have applied with the company and have been pre-approved to come on board, we will get you scheduled for our paid orientation. We pay $100 per day and orientation runs Monday through Thursday. The recruiter will work closely with you from the beginning and can further explain our process. They will get you set up with a prepaid bus ticket to one of our orientation sites. Next, they will instruct you on how you will get from the bus station to your prepaid motel room. All meals are covered while in orientation. Consideration is the fact that you need to have, I think, six months experience to go OTR with Cyprus. We're going to go through each and every one of the, uh, the new trucks that we got. We got Peterbilt's, we got Freightliner, Cascadia's, and we also have some Ken Kenworths for you. So basically, what you see behind me right now, these are all the trainers' trucks. 2020, uh, 20, man, shout out to Cyprus, man. Big shout out to Cyprus, man. Like, hey, hey, y'all hooked y'all boy up, man. I got a uh, few. Welcome to MTC 21 on the Lockout Men Podcast Show, where we made the calls for you. What's up, everybody? I'm Lockout Men, and in today's call is going to be to Cypress Trucking Lines out of Jacksonville, Florida. If you want to know more about them, you can give them a call at this number, which is 800-545-1351. Cypress Trucking Lines out of Jacksonville, Florida. Their primary concern is to provide trucking service in the safest manner possible. In order to achieve such a goal, they will employ, train, educate the most qualified drivers out there and the experienced personnel to support, secure their company growth. They will continually to strive to improve and implement all things necessary to achieve their primary goal, the public safety. So with that in mind, let's head over to the bit board right quick and see what Cypress Trucking Lines have to offer for us drivers out there. Nice website. Uh, I do like their website. It's clean to the point, and it, it's pretty much driver pacific if you really want to know about information about the company as for drivers this is the website to come to now to my to the looks of the naked eye i do believe that this is a flatbed company but look at the look at the equipment that they got they got some nice equipment look like they got a uh, peterbilt hoods peterbilt regular trucks peterbilt that truck but Cypress Trucking Line. Let's go and see a little bit about the company. So let's start off with this, man. Paid driver training. Listen here. Paid driver training. Now, I will, when I make the call to them, I will find out a little bit more about their paid driver training program. Do you get paid full? Do you get paid less? Do you get paid a little? Let's find out what you what let's find out what we can find out on the website as far as paid driver training. They said if you don't have no flatbed experience, no problem. So if you don't have no flatbed experience, no problem. These guys will pay for your flatbed training. They will get you up to speed by giving you $100 a week with a $500 a week maximum to pay for the time. Uh, while you're there, if you have six months experience already, you will already get in and get out with, with a truck. Uh, the drivers will head over to one of their facilities in uh, Florida, they will Georgia, Texas, or North Carolina for training. Let's find out a little bit more about this company. Let's see. All right, so let's see what they got to offer for us truck drivers out here. They said they need short haul, local, dedicated, regional, OTR, anything that you can imagine, they need it. So let's see what they got for us truck drivers. They got regional, they got regional positions. It says here, want to work for a better trucking company? Then we're the company for you with excellent pay, benefits, guaranteed weekends. 
means that you still have a lifestyle that you deserve. They got Southeast, East Coast, Northeast, and Southwest Regional. But if that's not good for you, you can go over the road. Of course, everybody know what over the road is. You don't have to, you, you don't need me to explain that to you, do you? They got immediate openings in Georgia, Tennessee, Georgia again, North Carolina, Florida, Florida, Gainesville, Florida, Texas, and the list just goes on and on and on and on. So if you want to know more about the trucking company, just head over to CypressTruck.com and fill out the application if you want to apply online or definitely give them a call. But you guys, you, you, I know what you guys want. I know what you guys want. You guys want the research. So, of course, I'm your man for it. So let's jump on to the website again and see what we can find out about Cypress Truck Lines, starting with Facebook. Of course, faith, they do have a Facebook group. Uh, you can see their information. They got about, how many people? They got about 25, about, about 25K people that's following this truck, uh, this trucking company on Facebook. But forget Facebook, what y'all wanna know is the reviews. So jump over to Indeed and come to find out that this trucking company only has three out of five stars. Is three out of five stars good? It's a, it's, it's a little good, right? Right? Let's, let's see a little bit about that. Let's see about that. Company driver, this one gives it a five. He says, I love my time at Cypress. Established company with good customer base, which is good for managing your time. This one right here says, loving it. Honestly, I love working here. I was an IT guy for 25 years. I have more fun, freedom, and funds now than I ever had working IT. This one gives it a four. He says, solid work for a solid worker. That's what's up. Your efforts will be record, uh, rewarded. He says, they know what they're doing. Florida is paying below average, so expect, expect that going in. You will get plenty of miles if you work hard. If you, you will make good money if you bust it. Weekends off means you get home Saturday afternoon and head out about five o'clock Monday. Is that though? You get home in the afternoon on Saturday and leave in the afternoon on Monday? Hmm, I'm not liking that. I am not liking Trucker's Report. This one gives them a three out of five stars. Their salary, okay, that was something I wasn't able to find on their website as far as what was the cent per mile and what was the average. But when I went over here to Trucker's Report, it gives us the salary. It says Indeed.com average salary for drivers at Cypress is making $812 per week. Is that before taxes? Cypress offers its employee benefits, home time, medical, dental, vision, 401k, loan and short-term disability, paid training, and a $2,000 sign-on bonus. This one gives it a four out of five. This one says dispatcher has control. They determine how many miles you get. This guy right here gives it a full five. Good company to train with. This one right here gives it a four out of five. Myself, I love it. Good company, been here for two years, home every day. This guy right here gives it a two out of five. Lazy, unsafe, not organized. All they care about is the money. They love to show favoritism. I'm going to a different company. Aren't all trucking companies, when you really think about it, all they care about is the money? I mean, let's let's think about that now. Let's 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 bring it back now. Let's let's think about that for a little bit. All right. All these all these trucking companies that's out in existence. All they care is about the money, right? I mean, watch some of these YouTube videos of new owner operators getting into, getting into the groove of starting their fleet. And they will tell you, 
It's all about the money. I mean, it's not about nothing else. What these trucking companies out here, really think about that. They claim that, well, we're all about the driver. You know, we care about our drivers and our drivers is, is the best that makes our company. But as soon as that driver start messing up the money, then that driver is considered that that driver is considered out. Think about it. A lot of these companies out here will stand here and tell you, we care about the driver. That's why this is an employee owned company. Bullshit. That employee owned company shit. That ESOP, don't fall for that. Don't fall for that. Can I can I go upstairs in the front office and and sit in on the day to day ongoings of the company if I was if I was a part owner? No, you are a you you are less than a one percent owner of that company. In other words, you have no say so at all. Period. So don't fall for that. Oh, we're an employee owned company. Employee have some have some saying in the company no they don't no they don't so when a company tells you or a recruiter tells you hey you know we're all about the driver we care about the driver well yeah that's that's all well and fine but as soon as you tear up that truck as soon as you start messing with their money as soon as you start complaining then you become a problem driver and you're going to have to get out. I'm just saying. All right. With all that said, let's find out more about Cypress Truck Lines in the call. Hello? Yeah, I can hear you now. <laughs> okay. 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 All right. That's what's up. That's what's up. Um, how you doing? My name is uh, Sean. I'm a six-year truck driver. Um, and I'm in a Facebook group. So the group I was in, we was talking about, you know, about the companies and cypher is pretty much popped up i see here i went to you guys website and i i see you guys are a flatbed company but you guys would train yes we uh, are but you guys would you guys would train us for people that don't have flatbed experience yes all right cool awesome uh is it all right that i is it all right that i take a few minutes of your time to learn more about the company all right, cool. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Uh, again, my name is Sean. Uh, can you give me a brief background of the company? Uh, background like our history? Uh, yeah, yeah, something like that. Or like, like, like what we so we're flatbed. Uh, we haul gypsum material, so we haul building material. Um, we're mostly in the southeastern region. Our main terminal is in Jacksonville, Florida. Um, it's a family-owned company. It was started by Dave Penland Sr. Um, in the late 60s or early 70s. I okay. can't remember when exactly. <laughs> um, Long he time ago. Out with one truck. Okay, okay. So, humble beginnings. Um, you know, we've come a long way. We have about 500 trucks now or 500 drivers. Mm -hmm. um, I, think, I think like 1,200 or 50 trailer I don't something like that because uh, we have more trailers than we do trucks we get new trucks we have Peter belts freight liners internationals um, it's mostly going to be regional for our recent graduates they're going to be driving regional did you say you did have your CDL or you don't have your CDL uh, no 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 I I have my CDL I'm a I'm a six year I'm a six year driver okay, so you don't need to come okay uh, okay, okay, yeah. So we do have a school, so um, just in case, we, we do have that. Uh, oh, okay. Your course or anything like that. Okay, so hold up, hold up. So you guys do have, do you, you guys do offer a school for drivers that don't have their CDLs? Yes, we do. Wow. It's a free, it's a free program. Uh, yeah. Wait, wait, you said it's no. a free, wait, hold, hold up, wait, wait, hold up, I'm, <laughs> I, I, I'm 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 I, I, it, it's too I'm I'm sensory overloading right now. So first thing first, hold on. Okay. Let me <laughs> let let me bring let me dial it back a little bit. So 
You guys, okay. you guys offer a CDL program for drivers that don't have CDLs. Of course, it's a free program, but what's Correct. the, what's the, uh, what's the, what's the obligation to what's that? To, yeah, what's the, exactly? What go. is the catch? <laughs> so we just want you to drive for us for eighteen months. So drivers that, and you don't have to worry about this because I guess you don't have to go through the school. You just need flatbed training, so we mm-hmm. can handle that. That's fine. But for the school, uh, we just want drivers, if, you know, since we invest so much in our trainees, we invest because we want you to drive for us. So we're training drivers um, with the goal of them becoming a driver for us and staying with us for the long haul. Um, okay. Of course, you know, not everybody does that. It's not for everybody. That's okay. But the, the obligation, the contract obligation, I guess you can put it that way, what, is 18 months. What okay? So let's say let, let's say a driver come in because I'm going to take this information back with me to my uh, to the network of drivers that I that I talk to, and I do know a few. Absolutely. I do know sure. a few that that don't have their license, and they're interested in coming into the industry as well. But for those that decide to just, that down the line and say. Oh, well, this isn't it for me. I'm kind of not liking it. But I got my license. Thank you very much. What's the, what's the, right. you know, what will be, what will be the penalty for? So, like, break your contract? Yeah. What, what would, what would that be? Is that be? what you're asking? Yeah. So, it's a, it's a $7,000 value. So, we just, you know, at that point, you just owe us for the school. And, and you, you know, we can set you up with a payment plan. So, it's not like we're going to be knocking on your door for $7,000 all at once or anything like that. But, right. yeah, we just want you to pay pay us back for the school if you leave before your contract is over. But it goes by really fast. Um, you drive for the first six months, you drive regional. And then after that, you can drive other uh, options, like over the road, if you wanted to go over the road after the first six months. Um, we have a lot of different options, and it depends on the driver's location as well. Okay, okay. Because so, we have terminals all over the place, but our main terminal and our school is in Jacksonville, Florida. Okay, okay, so okay. it's the driver's responsibility to get down here. Ooh, okay, so no, so I, I will have to get, uh, now this is for people that's interested in the school and the people that's interested in coming in with you guys too? No, so for you, since you're a tenured driver, you don't have to, so if you drive down, um, what, what's your zip code again? I'm did in, I get that yet? I don't think I, I did. Uh, no, you didn't. Uh, it's 44108, I'm out of Ohio. Oh, uh, we don't hire out of Ohio, unfortunately. Uh-huh. So that's going to be outside of our hiring area. Uh-huh. That sucks. But keep us in mind if you move. I know. I'm sorry about that. I should have got that a little bit sooner before I got you excited. Well, no, no, no. Um, I'm still, no, I'm, I still want to know. Though, by all means. Yeah, I still want to know about the company because, like I said, you know, with this, you know, with the network that I do, I could still bring, you know, the information to them. So what areas, what hire areas do you guys hire out of? So we hire kind, mostly out of the southeastern region. So it's going to be Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, a part of Virginia, part of Tennessee, and Alabama. And then also we hire in Texas um, for the southwestern region. Okay, okay. So so you guys is this, uh, we've got a terminal out there as well. But we really only hire like experienced drivers out of Texas. Okay. So basically, basically, you guys is a south, uh, a, a south regional type of company, right? Oh no! I mean, we have over the road, and we we do have drivers all over the forty eight. Um, you know, so it's not like we just stay in the southeastern region, but that's where we hire out of for the most part because we guarantee drivers home on the weekend. Okay. We don't okay. leave. We don't uh, really have drivers out for for weeks at a time. It's if you're over the road, it's two weeks out and and then a weekend home. Okay, okay. So, so for so for drivers, yeah, so that's kind of why we we're pretty strict. Oh, okay. So for drivers, since I'm not considered in that group no more, <laughs> so for so for drivers that's coming into you guys, uh, what might they need to bring the orientation with them? Bring to orientation. What do you mean? Like, um, like you know, if they like your like your DOT card, can do do we have to take another 
another, you know, DLT physical if we already have yes. our two year card? Yes. You have to do another physical. You have to do a hair follicle drug screen for us. Ooh. Uh, you need to have a smartphone. You'll have orientation paperwork. Um, you know, of course, now with Corona and everything, we're not bringing people in for orientation. We're doing it uh, via Zoom. Mm -hmm. So for the school, we'll bring people down um, for if you're like a driver like you who's been driving for more than six months, then we'll just do a Zoom interview. So it's a video conference interview. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then we'll bring you down after that. Okay, okay, okay. Hair follicle. For your little training and get your, uh-huh, hair follicle. Hair. It goes back 12 months. So hair. that's important, too. That's a lot of, I mean, I don't think everybody does that. Hair follicle. See, that's that's where that's where everybody gets messed up at, too. Because for guys that's, yep. you know, for guys that's like, uh, cage, well, that are casual, uh, medical. Yeah, I get, I get dress. Yeah, medical. Right, I get, I get they they don't realize that you guys go back that far to catch that. Far, that. I know. Man, I know. All right, so I know. It's, 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 we're pretty strict about that stuff because our main priority is safety. So we don't want any problems with with anything, you know, that could possibly be a safety hazard. And I have different opinions about that, but you know, we'll just leave it at that. We do do a a, a hair follicle. And it does go back 12 months. And it, 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 it's unfortunate for some guys because I know that it, it could be just a casual thing. Mm -hmm. It could be six months ago. It could be seven months ago. You know, it could be right on the year mark. And that's I hate having to tell guys that. Um, mm. But, you know, it is what it is. So that's just our policy. And, and like I said, I've, I've got different opinions about it myself. But Exactly. Um, exactly. But yeah, that's, that's what we do. What about what about the dispatchers there? Are 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 they former drivers themselves? Oh, that's a great question. I'm not sure if we have any any dispatchers that were drivers. I can ask my director. I no, I don't think so. Are are any of our dispatchers former drivers? I sent in. Um, somebody, yeah, somebody in North Carolina is. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's what's up. Former That's what's driver, up. But no, not not here in Jacksonville. All right, so but do, we've got. I mean, they've been here forever. Like most of our dispatchers have been with us for a while. So are you are are you guys uh, W two or ten ninety nine or or both? Uh, and do you guys offer leasing there? Yeah. W two. Oh, okay, okay. But do you guys offer leasing there? Oh, no, we don't. Oh, okay. We just have company vehicles, company drivers. All right. So what what is the uh, what would be a starting CPM? And let's just use my years as an example. Uh, what what would I start? What would a driver start at uh, coming down there, flatbed? Um, so you would start at uh, if you if you lived in our hiring area and if you were going to drive regional, you would start at fifty forty. 50-40? Yeah, so 50 cents a mile loaded, 40 cents a mile empty. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I'm, I'm thinking like a 50-40 split. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, that's what I'm thinking. When you said that, I'm over here like, oh, it's a 50-40 split. So, no. So, 50 cent, 50 cent loaded and then 40 cent empty? Yes. Why so low? Yeah, because you'd be more than five years experience. Why? Why so low on the? And that's for Southeast Regional. Oh, okay. Why so low on the on the on the forty? Why why forty? Why not just fifty cent across the board? Um, because you won't be spending very much time empty. It's a it's like ninety five percent loaded. Oh, okay, okay. What so about? It's very rare that you ever ever empty oh okay awesome what about what about tart pay what's what's the pay for the tart um i think that varies hourly but that's very rare that you'd be doing that too because it's mostly um uh drop in hooks oh it, get out 
I'm be, I'm I'm beginning to like you guys <laughs> a little bit more. Dropping hook, no touch, no talk. I know. I think you're gonna have to move. I think I'm gonna have to move. Wait, are, is this called a sto- Wait, am I pronouncing that right? Cotta st- Cotta Stega, or is no, this? No, this is Cypress Truck Line. No, no, no. I'm talking about the trailer itself. You know, the flatbed trailer. The the Cotta is the oh. one with the with the with the tarp that roll. I mean that that rolls across the trailer. You don't have to touch it at all. Oh, uh, no, so it's, it's, it'll it's basically be preloaded and pre-tarped once you get there. Oh, okay. So there will be just no touch freight. You'll just be pulling in. Because that's why I say we have more trailers than we do trucks because you'll you'll pull your loaded trailer, you'll drop it off, unhook and all of that, and then go hook up to a trailer that's already preloaded and pre-tarped. And you'll just have to do some securing, most likely, and then you get you hit the road. So you don't really spend much time in between. We we, we don't have a whole lot of sit down time uh, at Cyprus. Okay, that's it's what's a lot of just moving and going. That's what's up. All right. So before I jump into j- jump into the equipment itself, uh, what other what other payouts to the uh, drivers? Because I see on your website that you guys offering a two thousand dollar sign on bonus. How is that paid out? Where did you see that? A two thousand dollars sign on bonus? I could have sworn I seen a sign on bonus. For experience. Oh, okay. So that's for that's for experienced flat betters. Oh, okay. That's for flat um, but we do have a safety bonus. Oh, okay, okay. So that that Quarterly. So that wouldn't be that that wouldn't be for me being that I don't have no flatbed experience. Right, right. Oh, okay, okay. I, that's what I'm wondering. I was looking, I'm like I know I could have sworn I seen that. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's on, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. I'm like, oh, I don't know. But yeah, it's for the flat experience flat better. All right. All right. What about uh? What other what other pays to the driver? Like breakdown, holidays, detention, layovers. Well, you just said something about not laying over. So what about and detention? Well, do you guys still is? You do. Yeah, I mean, you do get paid for that if you if there is any time that you. I think it's like after two hours. If there's any time that you have to sit and wait or anything like that, we we do pay you for that. But it's very rare. Um, as far as holidays go, you get six paid holidays after ninety days, and then after a year, you get two weeks. And after, oh, no, I'm sorry, after a year, you get one week, and after um, three years, you get two weeks of paid vacation. All right, now I'm about to rewind a little bit because you said that fifty that fifty forty deal is for regional. What about what 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 what's the pay for over the road? Fifty three fifty three. Oh, fifty three fifty three. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. Uh, home time, uh, regional home time every week. I get my full two days, right? Or is it just a thirty four hour reset? It's like a 34-hour reset. It'll be, you know, it could be Friday, Saturday. It could be Saturday, Sunday. Um, it's not going to be like a full 48 hours, but we do guarantee home time every weekend. Oh, okay. Uh, now, being that you guys is a regional, you know, I will be doing regional. I will be getting home every week. Would I be able to take the truck home? That's the million-dollar question. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. yes, definitely take the truck home. Okay, that's what's up. Uh, you know. Oh, go ahead. Hello? Hello? Yeah, 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 yeah. You was about to say something else. I didn't mean to cut you off. I was just saying, you know, pending you living in our hiring area. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> we that's, you know what I mean? All right. So as far as equipment goes, what, what, what equipment do you guys offer? And, and what's the amenities inside the trucks? Um, that's a good question. I mean, I think there's a fridge in there. There's, we have, um, those nice, uh, I forget what they're called. Inverters. But it's like where the, the truck will keep running and it's, you're not running your. Oh, APU. APU, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What about, uh, what about dash yeah. cam? What about a dash camera? Uh, driver camera? Oh yeah, we have cameras in all of our trucks. Ford. Yes. Uh, just forward facing or both facing the driver. Forward and in cab, both. And in the cab. Mm, that sucks. 
There's, that's pretty much a deal breaker for some of us. Yes, sir. Uh, Safety is our number one priority. So okay, that's what's up. I, hey, I'm 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 with you. I'm on board with that. You know, with the with the safety and everything. Uh, what about uh, what about uh, the computer for the truck? What how how will we receive our our dispatches and everything? Yeah, so we use we have a, a nice um, we use PeopleNet. Oh, okay, I'm familiar and it's with people. It's gonna be now. a lot of app work, you know, doing it on your phone and stuff. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. I'm I'm familiar with people net. What are the? I, I guess my two million cool. dollar. So we have an app too. I I guess my two million dollar question would be: Is what's the trucks governing that? Sixty-five. 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 Gotcha. Gotcha. All right, all right. Well, listen, I, I, you know, for starters, thank you very much. This is a lot. This is a lot to take. This is a lot to take in, and I will definitely take this back, uh, with with me back to my, uh, you know, network of drivers. I just have maybe like two more questions. One of them is being that I deal with a whole bunch of drivers that has some scrimmage backgrounds, uh, felonies, DWIs, and all that good stuff. What is you guys' policy on all of that? Okay, DUIs have to be 10 years old, felonies have to be 7 years old, misdemeanors have to be 3 years old. Oh, okay, okay, that's what's up. I'll definitely I'm I'll definitely write okay. that down. And uh my last question is, I Perfect. guess uh I guess my last question is, what's what's the company turnover rate? I mean, this I mean, you guys sound so freaking good that you got me ready to pack my bags and look for a new house down in <laughs> in the Carolinas right now, but but let's be let's be for real. Well, uh, turnover you know. rate I would say is not very high. Mm -hmm. Turnover rate isn't very high. We have drivers that have stayed with us for 20, 30 years. I would say it's hard to get approved. Oh, okay, okay. So okay. The, the, the approval rate is like, you know, 20%. Gotcha, gotcha. It's not very high. You guys want... So it's hard to get approved, um, so we don't... Yeah, so it's very we're, we're very strict about stuff. We want the safest drivers out there. All right, I appreciate. So I would that. say the people that we that that we don't retain are the students. That I, I would say that's who we don't retain. If you come as a an experienced driver, that's mm -hmm. who ends up staying. I think most of the time. Okay, okay. Thank you for your honesty. I really do, do appreciate that. Yeah. Well, that's all yeah, I have. Of course. That's definitely oh, th that's good. all that's all I have. <laughs> I would definitely take this okay. I would definitely take this information to, you know, to my social media again where I network with many of uh many drivers. Absolutely. Um, hey, uh, look us up on Instagram and Facebook. I'm the one that runs the Instagram page if you want to take a look at that for me. Oh, okay. No doubt. No can, doubt. Maybe I, we can we can stay on your radar, you know. I would definitely, uh, I would definitely hit you up and uh, and uh, link uh, link the fact that I had talked to you. And you say you, you yes. say you yourself run the Instagram page. I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> uh, maybe I could. I do. Can I can I tag you in the in the Instagram? Sure. Uh, what's what's the name I should tag? It's Cypress C Y P R E S S. Oh, okay. And dot that, oh. Sunbelt. Cypress. Cypress dot Sunbelt. Di uh, Cypress dot who? Sunbelt. S U N B E L T. So Cypress dot Sunbelt because that's our sister company. So we actually have two companies that are basically the same thing. I mean, it's the same truck, the same everything. They just have different names on the trucks, and we have different areas that we run. So okay. Cypress dot Sunbelt. All right. I will definitely. Uh, I will definitely tag you. Uh, tag you to let you know people know that I have. Uh, that I have talked to you. I really. Uh, I really appreciate the time and and uh, and uh, and it's been a pleasure talking to you. Yeah, absolutely. Same here. Thank you so much. You have a wonderful day. Hey, you too. Now, Cypress, everybody. Yes, sir. Cypress truck lines out of, she said Jacksonville, Florida, if I'm not mistaken. So this is out of Florida. Much, much, much information this young lady had provided for us today. Let's start with the CDL truck driving school. 
So for you guys that don't have CDLs, give Cypress a try. If you're interested in getting into flatbed, give Cypress a try. They do high, they do have a school for drivers that don't have their CDLs and they're interested in getting their CDLs. Now with that, they want you to have at least a year and a half with them before your before your obligations for the school is paid. Now, if unfortunately for any reason, if you get your CDL and you're out on the street, or if you get your CDL and you drive with them for a round and you just say, hey, this isn't for me, then you just have to pay them back. A roundabout number, about $7,000. That's all. You can afford that. You're a truck driver now. You can you can afford $7,000, bruh. I'm just saying. But uh, this young lady, beautiful conversation. Um, what do you guys think of what do you guys think of the call, man? I mean, it was I mean, is is it is Cypress? Is it what you guys want? I mean, think about it. It is a it's a southern flatbed company. So unfortunately, I'm not in the area of where they hiring out of i'm out of ohio so basically she says they hiring uh florida of course carolinas georgia a little bit of a little bit of virginia definitely texas and in texas they only want the best of the best in texas so you definitely got to make sure that your background super clean super squeaky super spotless don't come in saying, you know, I smoke weed every day. Yes. That's a no. Even though there's a lot of you guys out there that be wondering how far back do they go on the hair follicle test? She said it goes back a year. So if you were smoking at the beginning part of last year, just know that you're not going to get in. Hair follicle. I'm not a fan of hair follicle. Uh, I mean, you know, I got some hair. As a matter of fact, I need my hair cut. But they're going to take about a lob of your hair, and they're going to test it. Take a couple of weeks. Right now, doing the corona deal, your orientation is going to be uh, done via computer. It's going to be done via Zoom. You're basically going to come in, uh, probably sign a little bit more paperwork, probably go out on a drive test, and then after that, you'll get your you you get your keys, your truck, and you're gone. Uh, inside the trucks, 65 miles per hour, and driver cam in and out. But they do have a refrigerator, though. They do guarantee you home, uh, especially if you're on a regional. Again, uh, it's a 50-40 deal. I thought it was a split. You get 50 cent for loaded, 40 cent unloaded. Drop and hook. Drop and hook. Let's hear it again. Drop and hook. You probably might just have to secure a little bit, but everything else is already preloaded, pre-tarped, ready to go. So do you like a company like that? You should. They don't offer leasing, of course. They don't offer leasing. Ten, I mean, uh, no 1099, so it's straight, uh, straight W-2. They do, like I said, they do guarantee you to be home every week. Cypress Truck Line out of Jacksonville, Florida. The phone number is 1-800-545-1351. And the recruiting out of Texas is 325-899-4544. Four four five five. Definitely check them out on Facebook because they do have a Facebook page. Definitely check them out on Instagram, which I will, which I will tag this uh, call to because the young lady that I talked to runs the social media page. So, shout out to her, Cypress Sunbelt on Instagram. 
Well, that's going to do it for this episode of the MTC 21. Thank you for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you get your suggestions in for next week's call. And if you want to support the call, you can do it. I, I would appreciate it. Let me give you a little bit of details on how to how to support the call. So let me let me let me come in a little bit so that you can hear me clear. Now, my cash app is dollar sign lockout men. In the Cash App, put your name and the company you want called and whatever, you know, whatever you want to give me for a cup of coffee. It could be anything. You know what I'm saying? I, I drink coffee. I drink tea. I drink water. You know what I'm saying? Or you can give me some breakfast. I will appreciate that. I am not sponsored by these companies for doing these calls for you guys. All right. Now, once you do that, you not only will get a shout out from me in the video for shout i mean for the company that you want to call but you will also be the first one to see the call before anybody else it will be in the premiere i'll show you the i'll show you the video before anybody else and then it'll be premiered in the regular weeks list all right there's calls every week this year or at least don't i'm not going to promise you every week but i am going to try and get it done for you guys every week now this is not to say that your suggestions if you you know if you don't want to support it that's understandable too how i made the choice of them calls i just basically put it in the wheel spin the wheel and then whatever pops up is the call that i make just like that but for per for people that supports the call that supports the channel let me just shout you out i really do appreciate it thank you very much this cause is five years deep i tell you five years deep that i've been doing this and it just gets better and better every year i i get a lot of companies that i heard of and a lot of companies that i haven't heard of so with that said with you guys and by me doing additional research and additional dark texts that be coming my way, I do this for you guys. If I get any information or any company, of course, I want to throw it out to you guys. All right. You guys know all of my social media, so make sure you follow me on everything from Instagram all the way up to YouTube. Like, subscribe, comment, share the video to anybody in any of your groups. If you're in a trucking group and you feel that this information is valuable, share it to them. Let them know that Lockout Men makes the call for them. You know what I'm saying? If you're interested in any calls that I do, let me know. Hashtag let me know hashtag calls hashtag mtc i i don't know hashtag something to let me know that you guys rock with your boy again thank you very much this is the lockout man podcast show thank you very much for watching i really do appreciate it and until next time everybody i will come back at you next week for another <music>